going to create a Unity game here using the Universal Render Pipeline. The game will have a theme of monsters. There's no concrete design for this. I'm gonna kind of be making this up as I go along and just see where the project uh, takes me. So there's our URP environment set up for us. We can just play that and make sure that everything is working the way it should be. Cool. To save me some time, I'm just gonna bring in this easy FPS script. I'm not sure how well it will work with URP, but let's, let's find out. So if I bring this in, with Easy FPS brought into the project, let's grab one of the movement prefabs and let's see how that works with what we have. Now, I'm gonna grab the prefab there. I, I believe this has its own camera, so I'm gonna disable the main camera. Come back to this guy. Plop him in the middle somewhere. Uh, looks more like where I want them to be. And at this point, I'm just trying to make sure everything kind of works before I can start making the first level. So if I play that, uh, let's see what we get. Mm. Nice. So uh, a, a pink gun and a blue background, not a very exciting game. So one of the things I know I need to do is change up all my materials to the universal render pipeline. So I'm gonna do the project materials and just proceed with that. I'll wait for that to finish. No errors there, all good. I'll play that again, let's see what we have this time. So we have this, still we've got a gun, just the blue background this time. So what we have to do, I believe on this one is we go to main camera and we change priority to one. And now we have movement, the way I'd like it to move, cool. No gun, so let's find out what's going on there. What I need to do is find the gun in the resources there, looking pink, doesn't look quite right. And change the layer back to default. Um, in theory, if I change that and it's children, it should fix this. But let's see if changing the layers did help. There you go. So the layers are fixed and we have a gun, some basic shooting going on. Looks good. We're in the universal render pipeline. And we can get on with making a level because this construction site is not the most exciting place to have a game. I think it's a construction site. I'm gonna bring in some level assets. I'm gonna get rid of that guy and go over to my package manager. And I'm going to bring in some snaps. I'm gonna go for the industrial sci-fi. I just want to get the, the mechanics of this working and once the mechanics are working um, I can change the models, change the, uh, the settings, but for now I just want to make sure that the game, the, the basic gameplay is, is up and running. To asset source snaps industrial sci-fi and I'm just going to bring up uh, one of the one of the sample scenes that looks more like something I can use if it was not for the fact that it was all pink so once again I believe the fix for this should be the same as the fix for the the movement script if I go over there if I go over to universal render pipeline and change the project materials and proceed there we go we now have a level thing with some lights uh, and the main camera so if i play this it's a 
very very dark that's what I would say it's very very dark maybe that's a good thing for a monsters game uh, but it is very dark so let's first and foremost see if we can merge the two things we've done so far which is to have uh, an FPS movement character and a basic level so if I go back into easy FPS and grab my player prefab don't know if I have to do everything I did one more time I probably will get rid of that bring this guy into zero 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 let's put yeah we can actually see what the main camera sees right he sunk into the ground so let's bring him up slightly and there we go and if we play that and joy we have to change the we have to change the layers again maybe make this in some sort of prefab next time might be the sensible thing to do if i change that to one oh yes so it was just the it was just the camera i had to modify but i basically have at this point in time although it is very dark doesn't seem to follow my yeah it's very dark <laughs> we have <laughs> some movement around our scene I think the next thing to do with this basic scene <laughs> is to um, come up with some lighting it is too dark even for a monsters game I, I feel it's way too dark Go ahead and change the intensity of these lights. Hopefully, that should bring the scene up. And I'm just going to add 50 to each one. So, hopefully, they still keep some of their original intended effect in terms of the variance of the different lights. Uh, and I'll try not to overwrite them. But if I go over and add 50, you can see the scene coming up with hopefully what was the original aesthetic of of this layout I'll go ahead and add 50 to all of these and then we can see what that gives us So everything has that 50 added to it it looks a bit better there we go okay we can actually see things now when we wander around I might mess with these values at a later stage but for now it gives us a nice base of a level to work off and we can start thinking about uh, the next the next part of this which is let's add a monster it's a monsters game there's no monsters in here right now so let's add let's look for a zombie i think that should be the first character that we have in our game i am not going to spend any money so let's go to free and let's, this guy looks pretty interesting get this from pixel to, to pixel tiger we'll get this one from pixel tiger and it's got a few different animations there you go that's a good good old zombie walk right there got an attack on him that would work it's got some falling down ones cool okay believe this guy's got everything that we need for the first monster in our game so i'm gonna go ahead add him to my assets and then import import him into unity Now, if I go into zombie and then go into prefabs, all pink, that's not a problem. Hopefully, if we select them and we go into materials, we're in the 
pipeline materials uh, selected. Okay, that's not gonna work. Ah, there we go, that's what we want. Zombie and that guy. Go from here. And we attempt to do this. Selected materials. Proceed. Okay, back to prefabs. Let's just add him in there. Okay, so he is pink on the preview but doesn't look very pink in the real thing and I think that's more important let's turn him around let's turn him around 180 let's face him okay and let's just see what he looks like right now in our game so if we go over there he is Ooh. This is doing something. Ah, he's cycling all the materials. Look fine. So the first thing to fix on our zombie, in fact, I'm gonna make a container on this, and we'll just call this monsters. And I'm gonna drag zombie one into there. Zombie one's a bit of a boring name. Gonna change that just in case we have more. So I've been watching some Simpsons. I'm just gonna name them after some Simpson characters and this is can start off as Bart. And we can name them from there onwards, just different characters. We can see he's got an animator, he's got a controller, which is this guy here. And that's what he's doing right now. So he's just cycling through everything, which is not what I want. So what I am going to do is create a brand new animator. So if I go from create an animator controller, and I'm gonna call this a bot controller, bot anim controller. Okay, and from entry, I just want him to go into idle just to check this is all working. So, my zombie idle, no transitions, no need to mess with any of this stuff. So, now when I play the game, I should see Bart in a nice idle state. So, if I wander over to him, he should just be there new and the reason he's not doing that is because I've not actually changed the controller so if I go from I track this guy here so I'm gonna go to bot animator and we should now see that controller in effect and he should be in an idle position there you go there's bot being all idle can't shoot him, can't really do much. But he is there, and, and I should have really spotted this sooner. If I go into console, I've got a bunch of error messages there, and it's just saying tag weapon is not defined. I don't think it's anything more sinister than that. So, what I can do, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna add a brand new tag. And I'm just going to call it the tag that it's searching for. And I, I'm, I believe this is to do with the easy FPS control. I don't think it's, it, can't, it can't really be anything else because it's the only thing that would be looking for a for a weapon. Now I don't want to actually assign this to Bart, so I'm going to leave him untagged for now. I'm going to come back to that at a later point. I just want to make sure I'm not getting any error messages on the console, and that seems to have clear that up and I think we're all good with those messages gone away so that I've got stuck and I'm good to go again all right that's good stuff there we can move on to the next thing and the next thing will be getting Bart to move around the scene so I'm gonna do this with waypoints I'm gonna give Bart just some different points around the scene to wander around and if we the player 
get in range of Bart. Bart's gonna come towards us and try and eat our brains as zombies tend to do. And we'll be doing that in the next video as it's been about 15 minutes and I think that's a good place to stop. So I will see you in part two. Thanks for watching.